I'm Shells. And I'm Suze. And welcome to EduBox. Where you can find tips for teachers and help for your students. If you haven't already, we would love it if you click that little subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so that you get all of the notifications for when new videos pop up. That's great. And we are on all the socials. All the socials. Links are in the description box below or just look up at EduBoffs or at EduBoffins. So, what are we doing today, Shells? So today we are learning how to do a student experiment. Student experiments. We better suit up. We better suit up. You ready for this? Born ready. Let's do this. Let's thing. do this. Right. Right. We've got our <laughs> PPE on. All sorted. Lab coats. Lab buttons. Lab buttons. Ready no to rock head. and roll. Ready to rock and roll. Unfortunately, I can't see a thing. So I'm <laughs> My glasses. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, quick disclaimer. Are you wearing that on top of your head? I am. Should you be doing this in the, in the lab? No 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 no, 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 no. Why not? Because it won't protect your eyes. Your and eyes are not on top of your head. And why else? I have no idea. Scratches. We don't want to scratch the glasses. If you are a boy and you have gel in your hair, you are going to scratch these and then your teacher's going to get cranky at you because these are not free. Okay, so do what we say, not what we do. Down to. <laughs> right, little disclaimer. We're going to be doing the Queensland version of a student experiment here. However, there's plenty in this video that will be suitable for all students who have to do a scientific report. That's right. So, Suze, where does scientific research start? Well, scientific research starts with a question. And it's called a research question. Wow! wow. What's the... Let's do an example. An, an easy example yep. is, what is the effect of changing the amount of light on the height of climbing beams growing for two weeks. And there you have it, you have a research question. It has a few important elements. So firstly, the first one that we're gonna be looking at is the independent variable. The independent variable, that is the thing you choose to change. And we are changing the amount of light. And that is our independent variable, also known as the IB. At this point, I think I need to give a little shout out to one of my past students. Hello, Jordy. I believe he still remembers what an IV and a DV are. And you know what? He really should know because he teaches it. So good. I know, right? Jordy, so I good. hope you subscribe because we know where you live. We're coming for you if you haven't. <laughs> Right, the next thing we need is a dependent variable because we need to measure something. So the thing that we measure here, we're going to be measuring the height. That is our dependent variable or dv. And I lastly, just realized I spelled this wrong. Oh well. And lastly, we need to make it specific so that we can actually test it in the labs. But if it's not specific enough, it's not really doable and it makes life very difficult. Correct. We don't want that. So we've made it doable by saying we're going to use climbing beans. So we don't have to test every single plant on the face of the earth. Oh, thank goodness, because that would take a millennia. And some. It would. We'd be busy forever. The other thing that is making this question very specific is that we're only testing for two weeks because if we had to test for longer than that, well, I'd get bored by then. And we'd run out of time. Yeah, we would. We the would. assignment wouldn't be in on time, and then we'd get a detention, and then we'd be 
Oh, you don't want that to happen. No, definitely so. not. Always make sure that your research question has got an IV and a DV and it is specific. Definitely need specificity. Specific specificity. 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 <laughs> Fantastic. And that is how you come up with a research question. Too easy, Suze. Too easy. I think that everybody should be able to try one out now on their own. Absolutely. And hopefully that has been really, really useful to you. If it has been, let all your friends know, share with everyone, because we want everyone to be successful with their student experiments. And if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment box and either Suze or I, or both of us, mm -hmm. will get back to you. That's right. If you haven't already, click that little subscribe button. We love our subscribers. We couldn't do it without your support. What are we doing next time, Shells? Well, the next phase in a student experiment is to modify the method. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. All right then, something to look forward to. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.